So I'm here today because this evening we have a live recording of my podcast, Soundtracking with Edith Bowman, with Simon Bird and Stuart Murder from Bell and Sebastian talking about the film they've worked on together. And my podcast is my way of diving into the world of music and film and talking to film creatives about their relationship with music, both professionally and personally. So we speak to directors, producers, actors, composers, anyone really who's got an interesting story to tell. What are you doing? I want to get in the back. And have me drive you like a chauffeur? Just want to lie down. You won't fit across the back seat. You'll be all squished. Are you sure you wouldn't be more comfy in the front? Positive. I really don't understand that. Just like you wanted. Simon and Stuart working on Days of Bagno Summer, which is Simon's debut feature film. Uh, and it's quite interesting because Stuart obviously is a filmmaker in his own right, and Bell and Sebastian's music has been used across so many films. But it's really nice to look at those filmmakers that have used a band or a band member to score the whole film. So Historically, you've got things like Harold and Maud with Cat Stevens and things like that. So it'll be nice to kind of tap into that discussion as well with them. Well, as we approach our 200th episode, um, which I can't believe we're there, to be honest, me and my friend Ben launched this little podcast as a real passion project. And since we launched it, um, we've missed two weeks, which we can't quite get our head around. We're so grateful to people giving up their time to come on the podcast. But I think what Every episode I learn something new from people, whether that's about a, a composer I didn't know about or a piece of music in a film that I've heard but I didn't realise who it was or, or what it's incited in someone. But I think the, the overriding kind of thread that's run through it all was that films would not have the power to connect in the way that they do if they didn't have music in them. It's such a thrill to be asked to come and be part of the film festival because it's got such a great reputation. Um, I was here a couple of years ago and we did a live soundtrack with Lynn Ramsey, um, which was great. And to have someone like Stuart here kind of really sort of signifies why soundtracking is a good fit for Glasgow because Glasgow has such great history with music. So to have Stuart here to talk about his involvement in this film is absolutely wonderful. But I think just the kind of energy that you get from Glasgow, um, particularly because this festival is so unique to other film festivals and that it's, it's totally accessible. You know, it's not just about kind of press and, uh, and kind of film people. It's like, it's, it's open to film fans and that's what I love about it. So I hope that it's something we can continue to do for years to come, really, is keep coming back and, and having great guests to sit and chat.